So in the next couple of sessions, I would like to share with the patients from the doctor point of view about the, the questions, concerns from the patient who are going through the very first IVF treatment. So today I would like to talk about a few, today the subject will be focused on the priming of the ovary or preparation of the ovary or preparation of patient for IVF. So this will be the first session of my series on IVF treatment. We always hear the doctor want to give the patient something to prepare their ovaries before start IVF treatment. And usually we call this IV priming of ovaries before start stimulation of ovaries. So priming ovaries practically prepare the ovaries and before start IVF. So what's the purpose to prepare the ovary before start IVF? The major purpose of preparation is trying to have ovary to have more follicles, baby follicles ready to be potentially to grow once you started to stimulate this follicle. So called recruitment, hopefully can get more follicles are recruited. Now this may not be very important or even necessary for the ladies at age of 38 years or younger with good ovary reserve. But it may be very variable for the lady have low ovary reserve. They don't produce many eggs. That means they study with very few follicles. All the ladies at the age of 39 or older, they produce less follicles. And this priming is very useful. And what's the definition of priming? Priming please want to have more follicle recruit and get more follicle to be ready to grow. Because not all the follicles you can see and they read necessary will grow, make a big follicles. So so-called priming, priming is trying to get more eggs and get more eggs ready. So this is the purpose. Second question is what's the mechanism to cause priming or preparing the ovary? Interestingly, when we try to prepare your ovary, we actually not prepare your ovary, we actually prepare your brain. Because all the hormones to ask the ovary to make an X are released from your brain. So when we say priming ovary, pretty much your ovary taking a break. So basically we're gonna shut down your brain to produce the hormone which make it over to grow X, which is FSH and LH. And they are very sensitive to the birth control pill, to any kind of estrogen hormones and combination of estrogen or precession hormone. So that is an uh, idea about um, priming the ovary. And I also discussed the mechanism. Mechanism by using the pills or hormones to stop the brain to ask your ovary to work and the ovary start taking vacation. Now, what kind of agents we usually will use for primary ovary? Believe it or not, most commonly used medicines are called oral contraceptive pills and also called birth control pills. Birth control pills or oral contraceptive pills are the same thing, they're different in name. They're made of estrogen and progesterone, and which usually released after ovulation. So if you're taking medicine containing estrogen and progesterone, your brain always feel like you're just ovulate and your brain will stop ask ovary to work and then ovaries indeed stop working and they starting to try to recruit more follicles and get all these follicles ready to grow at the same time. This in turn accounts the primings. And sometimes we can use an estrogen patch to deliver some estrogen through the skin which will pretty much serve the same purpose as using oral contraceptive pills. Once you start the treatment, we, we'll stop birth control pills and we'll start the stimulation hormones. So allow this recruit follicle to grow. Here, very important. Anytime you stop birth control pill, you may have a period. So sometimes patients get very concerned that they just starting IVF treatment, how can they got a period? That's because you were suppressed by birth control pills. When you stop birth control pill, basically all the hormone will leave your body and not all the home, the female home. That's why you're gonna have a withdrawal bleeding and that's what it happens when you stop a birth control pill. So, in summary, before start the IVF cycle, when the doctor said we're gonna prime you, which is usually for the purpose of improve the egg quality and the quantity. And the most common use of reagents is estrogen patch, colon skin, or oral contraceptive pills. 
Oral contraceptive pills is easy, convenient, but may over suppress the ovary, while patch is a little bit inconvenient to use, but less suppress the ovaries. And uh, when you use the birth control pills, once you stop birth control pills, you will have a withdrawal bleeding. So that's why when you start on the birth control pills, then you stop birth control pills and you start the IVF treatment and you start to see some breathing spotting. That's absolutely normal. Don't worry about it. And you definitely don't need to cancel the cycle. Thank you.